<laughs> hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Ali. My name is AJ. Welcome to Polybridge, a game that has just recently uh, come out on Steam uh, for £8.99. I don't know what that is in dollars for all the American viewers here. And uh, as soon as I saw that this game was released, I went and had a quick look on YouTube to see if I could find any gameplay of it. I found a couple of people that played it, and literally after about 20 or 30 seconds of seeing the game, I closed the video and have deliberately avoided seeing anything about it until I have got to play it, because it looks crazy awesome. It looks really, really cool. It's a bridge building game called Polybridge with, may I add, an absolutely fantastic uh, theme song to it in the background there. It's so soothing, so very nice. You might be able to see what we have to do just from this startup screen. You've got to get a vehicle, there's many vehicles in the game, from uh, point A on one side of the bridge to the other. And you have to build a bridge in the middle in order to get them across. Now, I've done a little bit of uh, the campaign here just to get my head wrapped around and make sure I know exactly what I'm doing before recording a video so I don't quite embarrass myself. But already it started to get a little bit difficult, which is what I'm really excited about. So. We've got an 8 meter simple bridge to build first, a budget of 7,000, I'm going to say dollars, it's a dollar sign, and uh, the vehicle that needs to cross is a station wagon, which is this red one here. Now all of the vehicles in the game, like the uh, little ped, uh, the little uh, scooter that you saw at the start screen, all have different weights, and the heavier the vehicle, the stronger the bridge will have to be in order to make the, uh, let, uh, let the car get one from one side to the other. Pretty simple. I made that sound a lot more complicated than it actually is. The heavier the car, the stronger the bridge. That's easier. So, we've got a few options around here. Uh, we can change the speed. We can, uh, can I do that? Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, we can change the speed on here, so we can make the car go faster or slower, depending on the longer levels, because I know that there are some longer levels. You might need to speed it up if the bridge breaks at a certain point during the level. But if we hit shift here, we'll get the simulation running. And as you can see, without a bridge there, the car drives straight into the water and, uh, and and we fail. So, bridge time. We have a few options here. If we hit spacebar, we've got road and wood available to us on this level. Unlimited roads and unlimited wood. All of these other stuff, hydraulics and uh, suspension cables and stuff, are all for the uh, bridges that will be coming later on. In fact, we might be able to get to a hydraulic one by the end of this episode if we keep it moving quickly. Let's jump straight into it though. What you're going to do is uh, these little red points are like anchor points. This is any points that you can actually start building from. The road blocks are the actual ones that you want to use the bridge for. So we've got a road going across there. And if we try and play this now, the, uh, the bridge breaks instantly. There's nothing holding the bridge up. There's nothing to support the bridge. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some wood to go underneath it and hopefully strengthen the bridge enough uh, to get this station wagon across. So if we do that, at the moment, these two should stay up, but the middle isn't going to be strong enough. I've got stress on at the minute. If I turn that off, the uh, the bridge looks slightly different. If I turn it on, you can see it goes to like a green color. Oh, perfect. It goes to like a green color. And where there's more stress, uh, it's going to change closer and closer to a sort of red color. And once it goes too red, it's going to break. And that's the way you know that your bridge isn't strong enough. That's a really annoying sound. Oh, there you go. So, so you sort of, sort of, you sort of saw it flashing red then, uh, just before it broke. So if we add a few little strengthening beams under the bottom here, oh, we should be good. There, 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 and there. Triangles. We all know that triangles are the strongest shape that you can get in the real world. So we're going to build our most of our bridges, in fact, all of our bridges out of triangles to make them as strong as possible. So we shouldn't have a problem here. The car should go straight across to the other side and we complete the first level of the game. Now you guys know what to expect. We can uh, start moving a little bit quicker here and hopefully get through some of these levels and get you really, really into the game. Uh, by the way, before we do, uh, I don't recommend buying a game just because YouTube is playing it. Uh, that's not something that I've ever been uh, into or, or, or interested in. If you guys uh, want to watch 
five, six episodes or whatever first before you are thinking about purchasing it, then that's probably a good idea. There's nothing worse than seeing a YouTuber play a game, you buy the game and then you don't like it or you get bored of it quickly and you feel like um, you've wasted money and you feel like it's the YouTuber's fault. I'm not recommending to buy the game yet until you at least uh, see uh, if you really do enjoy it or not. Do we have a limit on these? No, we've got unlimited roads and unlimited wood on this as well. So, we'll go straight across. We've got two small cars. So, these are lighter than the station wagons, but we've got two of them that need to cross. Let's do a little bit of a triangle here. I think that's going to be a good start. We'll join that up there. Join that up there. Can we reach? It doesn't reach. What if we move this? If you use control, the control button on your keyboard, you can actually sort of move the points a little bit. Let's do something like that. Uh... You know, that's a triangle, isn't it? That's two triangles. That should work. We'll have that one there. And then that to there. This should be strong enough. I can't see why this wouldn't be strong enough for us to get these two cars across. Come on. Don't fail me. Don't embarrass me. Look at that. Both of them crossed there. Sweet. Now, we do get some stats off every time that we complete a level. We get the budget used. As you see up here, we've got the budget that we used and the budget limit. You can't go over the limit. If you go over the limit, then you're not going to be able to complete the level. You've got your mass joint stress here. So the higher percentage this is, the closer the bridge was to breaking. And the material footprint is the amount of materials that you used. Obviously, uh, I suppose at some point it says online data not available. I don't think they've actually got sort of leaderboards in. But from the looks of things, eventually they'll put sort of leaderboard style things in where uh, the game will sort of register if you've used like the least money out of anybody in the world uh, for that bridge. Could be quite interesting. You can also share your replays on social media, Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, I... Don't really find much of a use for that of a one level of a bridge, but <laughs> it's a nice touch, I suppose. 16 meter simple bridge, a budget of $10,000, two cars, and we've got, uh, oops, nope, we've got wood and road to make it out of. So unlimited wood, unlimited roads, fantastic. These ones are nice and simple to start off with. They're just trying to get you uh, into uh, understanding the game. Uh, you know what, let's try a different way. I'm going to do one strut up. Now, this isn't going to be the strongest bridge. Uh, for sure, but if it works, we might save a little bit of money. Now, I am one of those people, and I'm sure you guys won't mind too much, but I'm one of these people that like to try and keep our bridges sort of uh, neat, if you like. I, I, you know you know what I mean, like uh, keeping all of the lines at the, the right angles and stuff like that. I'm just one of those really annoying people that are like that, so I do apologize. I think... Seeing as though we all play Minecraft, or at least 90% of us do watching this channel, uh, you'll appreciate the uh, OCD-ness that we have. Oh yeah, we've got a little bit of stress there. I don't know if the heavy car's going to make it. Oh, it got close to breaking, but we were okay. That was good. <coughs> a little bit of a cough there. Wonderful. That was a good budget one as well. An 8-meter slanted bridge. So we need to actually go uphill on this one. And we've got a very heavy vehicle. This might be one of the heaviest. This is at least the heaviest vehicle that I saw in tutorial. Uh, a little camper van here. But we need to go uphill here. Now, guys, I'm not joking when I say it's going to get a lot more interest. And we're going to get some jumps. I think the next level might even be a jump, which would be cool. You might notice, though, we haven't got any anchor points for the wood to go underneath here. So, we're going to have to do what you might have seen bridges in real life like this, where they go on top instead. So, we're going to go on top here. Don't worry, I am going to neaten these points up because I am one of those really annoying people that like to keep... Oh, their triangles aren't too bad, I suppose. And then we'll run this along the top there. Oh, it's just not long enough. Uh, like, it's... Uh, we've got to keep it neat. It's got to be neat. <laughs> there we go. That should hopefully be strong enough. Oh, it looks a little dark. Oh, it went dark red then. I do like having the stress on. If we turn it off, it goes to like a normal bridge color, but you don't get to see how close it is to break. And so I am a fan of having that on. Uh, it lets you know where the bridge is going to break if it is going to. Okay, a 10 meter jump. Oh, I hit my mic. I s apologize for any loud noise that that might have um, caused. Five grand budget, a scooter, which I think is the fastest vehicle in the game, which is quite unrealistic, but <laughs> it's okay. It's the lightest as well, which is good. We've got only two roads and ten wood, so not much. We've got two options here. We can either 
do like a double road setup. Or if we delete that one, we can have like a launch pad and a landing pad. I think I'm going to go with a double launch pad. I think that's a little bit too high. Let's just drop that down a little bit. And then we'll have this one go up at a steeper angle to try and like boost the ped up a little bit. And since we've only got five wood, it's obviously all going to be on this side. So we need, that's not going to be tall enough. We'll have something like this. Like that. That should be good. That's well under budget. That's only half of the budget that we have available. Is it going to be enough though? Let's slow down time for this one. Down to 50% so it looks really, really cool. Go on, little ped. Go on, scooter. Oh, is it going to make it? No. Oh, it just did. Oh, wonderful. Okay. I think that took me two attempts the first time I'd done that. So, we're getting better. <laughs> okay, an 18 meter jump. A ped. And a car, a nine grand budget. How much? Whoa, look at the size of this thing. Oh, that's a real far distance we've got to make. How many roads? We've got five roads, unlimited wood. So, do we do five roads to try and get as close across as we can? Or do we have like four and one? Or three and two? I think... Oops, I think maybe five would be good. So, we want to try and get as high as we possibly can. Oops. As high as we possibly can, as, as far across the bridge as we can. It's a little bit glitchy with these road moving. Like, you're meant to be able to move it with control. Sometimes it doesn't do it. But, again, you're going to expect some little bugs with that. Now, I've already foreseen a problem. We've only got two anchor points here. And only ten wood. In order to get across. In, in order to make this bridge. But I don't think ten wood is going to be enough to make this bridge strong enough to keep it up. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to have like a little landing pad like that maybe let's get some wood oh we've got unlimited wood I thought we had 10 wood that must have been on the last level eh, no we should be good anyway okay so let's try and make a nice strong triangle at the base here pillar it up like the uh, like a deck of cards isn't it it's very much like a deck of cards like this try and keep it as cheap as possible this oh looks good it's a very well structured bridge i think oh it just made that one it's not going to make the next one though so i have to do something like that obviously we're trying to keep triangles throughout this this game because they are the strongest like that oh we're well over budget oh wow look at that we're, we're like miles miles over budget so we're gonna have to delete some of these Hmm, this is going to really weaken our bridge. Still over budget. Oh. Okay, we're under budget. Let's just see how that goes. If we put up to 100% again. And let's hit play. Oh yeah, look at that. It collapsed before they even got there. So. Let's remove all of these. Let's start it again. I really want to get to the hydraulic bridge by the end of this episode. Uh, so stay tuned because that's when it starts getting really really cool right let's try and get up there in three that's much better that's going to save a lot of money okay oh ooh, i didn't want to do that oh i didn't know you could click and drag though that could be quite handy uh with that can i just i want to just reach that one ah oh, shoot uh wrong button no 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 the controls there's only three buttons to the game and i still get them wrong <laughs> There we go. And then... Oh, no, no, not that one. Oh, shoot. I've done that again. It's shift. Uh, shift to play. Control to move them if you need to. And alt to delete. And then space is your, your inventory, if you like. So I just need to remember which ones are which. Okay. Uh, I can't get that. If I move that up... Can I move that up enough? Oh, I can. Like that. I can't get it close enough to there, though. Uh, move that one out a little bit. Can I? Can it? I hit the Windows button. <laughs> I minimized it. It's between. It got control on one side and alt on the other. I'm gonna expect to hit that quite a lot. I think. I just want. I want to reach both of them with this. I can't reach that one down there. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I hope that hasn't messed up the recording. Okay, so that bit's pretty strong now. Obviously, it's not gonna stand up quite yet. Let's have that nice and strong down there. We're still good on budget. We're good on budget still. So that's 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 something that we should uh, be proud of. Can I reach that now? Oh, I still can't. 
I can now. I can't reach that one though. Like that, like that, like that. Oh, just over budget. Oh look, it goes up depending on how much would you, I thought it was just like joins. So that might be good enough. Let's try it. On 100% speed. Oh yeah, that looked really strong. Oh, we made it easily. We made that bridge like over strong. We like over engineered that. Okay, a 16 meter over bridge. 16 grand, a station wagon, and it's got a small tugboat. Now, the small tugboat, now it says small tugboat, that makes me think that there might be bigger ones in the game. I haven't seen the bigger ones, because I've obviously tried to keep away from seeing footage, so I don't know how to com how to actually do levels. But if it says small tugboat, I'm expecting that we might have a bigger one at some point. The tugboat is going to come through where this red area is. In fact, if we hit space, do we see it? Yeah, we do. So we can see the tugboat's going to come through there. We don't, though, have any hydrox or anything. We've only got the same materials that we've had so far to do it. So the easy way to do this is obviously to just go over the top. So that, that's close, but hopefully it says it's going to clear it. So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to trust the game in, uh, in saying it's going to clear it. There's a little bit of jump off the end of the bridge. That'd be fun for him. And uh, this is going to be interesting here as well. We're going to make a little triangle and make this part nice and strong for him. I think we've got a pretty good budget here, so we should be able to make this as strong as we necessarily need to. But that should be good for that part. But we can't do the same thing as we've done over here on this side, because it's going to get in the way of the bridge, in the way of the boat. As you can see, if we do this, and we hit the play, oh, it's not even strong enough to hold itself up. The, the bridge would have, uh, the, the boat would have ran into those, um, those wooden parts and would have had a very bad day for us. So, what we're going to have to do instead is go over the top, like we have done on, on a level. So we're going to go over the top here, like so. And we'll have one more. And that should be strong enough. I think that should be strong enough to be able to hold this uh, this station wagon. Oh, can it? Can we reach it? Oh, it's so close. Can I? Oh, you drop down. Just drop down. Drop down a little bit. Drop down. It's a little bit dodgy. I don't know if that's me being awkward with it or if it's the um, the game has some little funny bits to it. I don't know. Oh, it just reaches. There we go. Let's try it. Is it going to clear the bridge? It said it would. It said it would. The car's going to like jump off this little end bit there. It's going to be quite funny. I've already got out of the habit of making the neat triangles. <laughs> oh, that was close. Did you see how red that got then? Wonderful. It made it. Sweet. Well under budget as well. We're good. We're, we'd save this a lot of money. Okay. 12 meter drawbridge. This is going to be the last episode of this pilot um, episode here. Or the last level of this pilot episode. Sorry. Because uh, we're going to start getting into hydraulics here. 12 meter drawbridge. $22,000 budget. A city car. A station wagon. And a small tugboat is going to go through. We've got wood and pistons. See, hydraulics here uh, in order to succeed in this. Six roads available. That should be more than enough. In fact, that should be enough to get all the way across. Three, four, five, six. I do like it how this middle road is right in the middle of the uh, tugboat. You'll see why momentarily. Now, if we get the wood here, honestly, let's make this one neat. Let's make these triangles perfect. So just like that, that, and that. That one, that one, and that one, that one, that one, and now look how neat this is. Okay, but, obviously we need to get this out of the way of the boat, and we didn't have enough roads to go over the top on this one, so we're going to have to use hydraulics. Let's go up there, down there, and let's move that in. Do something like that, and then do something like that. And now what we're going to do is grab these hydraulics from that point to there. And from that point to there, you can see the arrows are going to pull in that direction. And then if you double right click, I think, on a, a yellow dot, it's going to split it. There you go. So we've got a split joint here. We should be good. That should be enough, I hope. Let's hit play. Oh, it's dark red. It might not be strong enough to hold that station wagon. If it isn't, then we can easily strengthen it. But as you can see... The hydraulics pull the bridge up. Let's turn the stress off on this one. The boat isn't going to clear it. It should do. Yeah, it looks miles away. Look at that. Really cool bridge here. I cannot wait 
to uh, see what other bridges we're going to have to do in the future. So it drops it back down. I do have a feeling that this station wagon is going to be too heavy for it. Yeah, I thought as much. I did I did say that at the beginning. Easy enough to solve though. Oh, not hydraulics. We want with wood. We'll do that and that. And then we'll do the same down there. And then that's going to be strong enough. We can speed up time here to um, make it go a little bit quicker. We've seen this bit before. We know it's going to go under. And then we can slow back time again for the uh, little car to go across or for the station wagon. Perfect. We succeeded. That is going to do it for this episode, this pilot episode here of Polybridge. Again, it can be purchased on Steam. If you are interested, I'm not recommending anything. I'm not uh, supporting anything uh, if you like, you know, I'm not getting paid to make these videos or anything like that. I just thought it was a cool game that I wanted to show you guys. If you are enjoying this season, you want to see more of it, then hit that like button. That's the easiest way that I can tell uh, how many of you in general are enjoying this. Uh, we're going to go for, as long as you enjoy this episode, we're going to go for five uh, episodes. And then after that, we'll evaluate the situation again and see if you, we want to continue further. Uh, until then though guys, we shall see you in the next episode. Let me know in the comment section what you think as well and uh, if you're interested, interested to see how difficult these bridges are going to get. I've got a feeling they're going to get very, very hard very, very quickly. But that's a beautiful bridge there. Alright guys, bye!